Welcome to Lockdown Minis, I'm Richard and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I paint the Imperial Robot UR-025. I've stuck to the box art for the majority of the models in this set but with this guy I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, I'm not that keen on the box art and I just think this adds a, a little bit more flavour to it. As always, I've pre-primed the, the model and I'm starting off with a, a highlight from above with white. I'm now going to move on um, to a Hot Orange by Vallejo, uh, which I'm going to use to do um, the right arm and the left shoulder pad. Here for the bulk of the armor, I'm just going to use Somber Grey uh, by Vallejo and I'm just spraying this on quite generously. Um, you can't see this is off camera but what I'm doing here is I'm adding slowly a bit more white to the um, to the somber grey just to make a, a, a highlight um, using the same the same grey but just a bit of white in, in that mix. I continue to do this a, a couple of times until I'm happy with the result. Now moving on to a bristle brush, I'm just going to start off with some white which I'm going to add to the chest piece, piece around sort of the, the head and the kneecaps. This is just to add a bit of contrast to that grey um, and I think it ties together quite well with the, um, the, with the grey and the orange. This is why it takes a couple of coats just to make sure that I get the finish that I'm after. Now I'm moving on to Chainmail Silver, um, where I'm just using this to pick out all the, the, the joints and any of the, the mechanical bits that sit between the armor plates.
I also use the same color just to pick out a few areas um, on his weapon and also um, a cable that just goes from his right arm to his backpack. Now I've moved on to Silver by Vallejo, uh, where I'm just going to pick out some um, more of the areas on the on the weapon, um, his aerial, um, and a few other bits on the on the backpack. using a splash of gold there just for the imperial symbol on his chest. Now I'm using a little bit of bright bronze uh, just to pick out on the, the backpack this kind of like a, a conduit type thing that I felt needed it. Um, now I'm just going to pick out the you know lenses and lights uh, that I think should be red. And for this I'm going to use bloody red by Vallejo. Sadly, um, I lost a bit of footage at this stage. Um, you noticed on the armor, um, particularly the grey, it's changed from a, a light grey to a dark grey. And all I've done here is just added a shade of null oil to the model, um, just to pull the, you know that together. Now I'm going to apply some edge highlighting to the model using Wolf Grey. I'm just going to do the same here with um, Silver by Vallejo, just for any of the metallic areas. Now here, I'm just using a bit of yellow, uh, just for the chest light and I'll go over the, um, the grate with a little bit of silver afterwards. I'm 
just adding you know one or two bright colors here to some of the little screens on his backpack and on his chest um, and there's a few buttons there so I'm just using sort of reds and, and greens but you can choose any color that you want really I'm just adding here some black for for his weapon, and I'll come back and um, add a an edge highlight to this as I did before with the wolf grey. Earlier on I'd added a black shade with null oil to the, the lenses. I'm just going back here with some red, uh, bloody red by Vallejo, just to add a, a highlight to those lenses. I'm just finishing the model off with uh, a, a standard black base. And here he is, the finished model. Um, I really enjoyed painting this colour scheme. Slightly um, away from the box art, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, Unfortunately, I lost a bit of footage, which I'm, I'm really gutted about. Um, but it was only a, a, a shade with non oil, which isn't the um, the worst thing in the world to lose. Um, if you did enjoy watching this video, uh, hit the subscribe button. There's plenty more to come. Um, I'm working my way through the whole of the Black Fortress set, and there'll be some videos from Ultramarine soon as well. Next time, we'll be painting Tadius. Um, really fun model to paint, and I'll see you then. Bye.